Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to test whether a character is in a character string using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the example character string that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run line 2 of the code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new character string object is appearing which is called myx. And we can also have a look at this character string by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example character string is consisting of a sequence of X letters. And within these Xs, you can see the letter A. So let's assume that we want to find out whether the letter A is in our example character string. Then we can apply the grapple function as you can see in line five of the code. So within the grapple function, we need to specify the character for which we want to test. So in this case, we are looking for the character A. And then we also need to specify the character string within we want to search. So in this case, our example character string is called myx. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the logical value true is returned. And this means that the character letter A is existing in the character string myx. So if we apply the grapple function to a character pattern that is not existing in our character string, so for example, if we are looking for the character b in our character string, then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the grapple function returns the logical value false. So in other words, the character b is not existing in our character string myx. So as you have seen in the first example, we can use the grapple function of the basic installation of the R programming language to check whether a character or a character pattern is existing in a character string. However, the R programming language also provides a package for the manipulation of character strings, which is very popular when it comes to character string manipulation in R. And this package is called string R. And since the package is very popular, I also want to show you how to identify characters in character strings using the string R package. So if we want to use the string R package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines nine and 10 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the string R package, such as the str detect function, as you can see in line 12 of the code. And within the str detect function, we also need to specify the name of our character string and the character pattern for which we want to search. So in this case, I'm looking for the character A within the character string myx. And if we run line 12 of the code, you can see that the str detect function is also returning the value true. So the letter A exists in our character string myx. So in this video, I have shown you two examples on how to check whether a character pattern is existing in a character string using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.